Let us take the world for Jesus. Of all the religions in the world, the Christian message of love, joy, and peace is the most needed. This Christian message is the only one that gives people a personal, loving relationship with the Creator-Redeemer God of the universe. These are strong statements that are backed up with centuries of testimonies of ruined lives that have been put back together again. Families on the verge of self-destruction have been brought to complete reconciliation. People wasted by sinful habits living on Skid Row are now being transformed into model citizens. People in total despair are finding a new lease on life. This list could be multiplied a million times. Indeed, Jesus is the answer to all our world's problems. If we have learned anything from the years of worldly pursuits, it should be very clear that these are not the answers to the heart cries of our world. We are unable to fix ourselves with our own ingenuity. We cannot pull ourselves up out of the quagmire of sin and rebellion against God and mankind by pulling on our own bootstraps. We must have an outside force to save us. Science and technology cannot save us. Social programs have failed to save us. The government has failed to save us. Education has failed to save us. Money, fame and power cannot save us. We cannot save ourselves. We must have a deity to save us. The message of God's love, joy, and peace is so simple, it is profound. Even a fool does not need to err therein. Even little children of three and four years old have found this personal, loving relationship with their Creator-Redeemer God. We have done the world a great disservice by not showing them, by precept and example, the great love of God that sent Jesus to our world to perform the ultimate sacrifice that brought reconciliation to all of us. Many people today are facing great persecution on a daily basis for loving and serving their God. When they try to share their faith in Jesus, they are putting their lives at great peril. Shame on us for whining when someone or some organization calls us narrow-minded bigots for quoting John 14 verse 6 to them. It is not time for us to dialogue with the enemies of our true and living God. There is only one message. It is, turn from your sinful ways, surrender to God's will for your life, and accept Jesus as the only Savior and Lord for our lost in sin's dark night human race. We are not going to help anyone by trying to get along with the world, the flesh, or the devil. There is only one standard, one faith, and one God who can bring love, joy and peace to our fallen world. To make the above statement is not a hate crime. It is criminal to say to people everything is all right when you see it is not. What if a truck was coming around a blind corner, would it be a crime to try to get a person out of its path? The Christian is the one who sees danger, coming around the corner, who needs to warn the wicked to flee from their wickedness, before their sins find them out. Christians, listen to me. You have the answer our world needs. It is your duty to proclaim it to the ends of the earth. The Great Commission and the Great Commandment are not suggestions. They are commands from our commanding officer, the Lord Jesus Christ. It is time for us Christians to quit being wimps and buckle the Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 20 mindset and armor on and go out into all our world to take it for Jesus. Never mind the propaganda or the threatening of the enemies of the souls of the human race. We are under a commission of our commanding officer who has all power in heaven and in earth. If God is for us, 
nothing can be against us. Nothing can stand against us. Let's take the world for Jesus starting today.